in this lecture we are going to discuss about the intersection and union of two convex set okay or more than two convex set that is any number of convex set we have to discuss about intersection and union we first define the convex set what is the definition of convex set the convex set is s s is said to be convex set if for all x1 x2 belongs to s that is if we take any two point of s then the convex combination this is lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda into x1 this is also belongs to s for any value of lambda lies between 0 less equal to lambda less equal to 1 this is the definition of convex set now we discuss about the intersection first we consider here S, this is the collection of all convex set. We said that S alpha, each S alpha are the convex set and the collection is a set which is said to be S such that alpha belongs to N. Be a collection of convex set. Right. We have to show here S alpha, sorry, this is S alpha and intersection of S alpha, where alpha belongs to S. We have to show that this is also a convex set. Now, we let this is equal to H. Let the intersection be equal to H. If we get H, this is equal to phi or H is a single concept okay then trivially both the set are convex set then we say that h is convex we know that if the set is single tone then it is convex set and if h is phi that is empty set is also taken to be convex set right now if H is not phi and not single tone set. Let x1, x2 be any two point of H. Okay. And from the definition of intersection, x1, x2 must belongs to S alpha, where alpha belongs to A. Or for alpha belongs to A. Right? From the definition of intersection. Now since each alpha each alpha belongs to n s alpha is s alpha is convex set so lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda into x1 this is the convex combination of x2 and x1 must belongs to this s alpha Okay, since each of S alpha is convex set. So, this is must belong to our convex combination of X1 and X2 must belong to S alpha. And since for each alpha, this convex combination belongs to S alpha, hence we can write that we can write that lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda into x1 must belong to intersection alpha belongs to n s alpha. Okay. Since each of this term belongs to s alpha for all alpha belongs to n. Then we say that this element must be belongs to the intersection and obviously this is equal to h. Okay. So we first take any two point x1 and x2 belongs to h. And we see that lambda x2 plus 1 minus lambda x1, this is the convex combination, belongs to h, imply h is a convex set. Okay. So we prove here the set of any intersection of any number of convex set is convex set. Now we discuss about the union. Here it is said that is union of any convex set or any two convex set is convex or not or 
also it can be says that union of union of any two convex set may or may not be convex set how how we say or how we show here if we take h1 this is equal to xy this is a point of two dimensional plane r2 such that x x square plus x square plus y square sorry x square plus y square this is less equal to 1 and if we take h2 this is also xy belongs to two dimensional plane x square plus y square less equal to 2 these two are the circular region center of both the circular region is at the origin and here the radius is 1 unit here the radius is root 2 unit so clearly the union of h1 and h2 must be equal to h2 ok then it is clear that h2 is a convex set and in this case we say that the union of two convex set is convex set ok and so many another example we can make to show that the union of two convex set is convex set one another example we draw here if we consider if we consider a square this is this line is x equal to a this line is y equal to a okay this is a square region and we know that this is convex set and let it be h1 and let another square region this and this is given by x equal to a x equal to 2a and this is x equal to 2a and obviously this is y equal to a this is also a square okay and union of these two square region must be given by by the set h this is equal to xy such that 0 less equal to y less equal to a and 0 less equal to x less equal to 2 ok and we get the union as this right this is the set and it is clear from the diagram or picture this is becomes a convex set so here we also say the union of two convex set is convex set ok but now we take any two set like this but something different first we take an rectangular region this is given by y equal to a x equal to 2a this is rectangular region and this is given by this is given by h1 and we consider another rectangular region this is like this this is x equal to a and this is y equal to 2a and this rectangular region is this ok and let it be h2 here h1 we write xy belongs to r2 such that 0 less equal to y less equal to a and 0 less equal to x less equal to 2a this is the first rectangular region and h2 this is xy belongs to r2 such that 0 less equal to x less equal to a 0 less equal to y less equal to 2a now it is clear that if we take two point here one point and here another point then the line segment is outside the set so this is not a convex set because the union of two set we make then this this portion and this portion also in the union but if we take here a point and here a point, then the line segment is not in the set whole. So this is not convex set. Okay. Now we consider another example. Consider here. Let x equal to this is x equal to five, and x equal to five we consider set H one. This is x y such that x greater equal to five, and the region is this greater equal to 5 means the right side of x equal to 5 and we consider h2 this is 
x y such that x is less equal to four. Okay, and in this case, this is x equal to four, and the region is this. Right. Now, if we consider any two point here and here, then the line segment is not totally lies on this set. This is the outside portion. So this is also not convex set if we make the union of H1 and H2. Okay. So we give two example where union of two convex set is becomes a convex set, and here we see. Another two example here union of two convex set is not a convex set. So we say that the union of two convex set may or may not be convex set, or we simply say that in union of two convex set may not be convex set. Right? This are the very important result, and this is also a very important theorem of convex set. Thank you. Thank you for watching.